Hello, hi guys. Quick video. I'm actually sitting outside today. It's really, really nice. It's beautiful. It's like 60 degrees out here. And I thought I'd just shoot you guys a quick video. I hope you all are doing well. Uh, welcome to Breaking Free from MPD with Lizzie. Uh, I am your professional certified life coach. And uh, I just want to welcome everyone to my channel. Thank you for my old and new subscribers. You all are my tribe and my family. I thank you all so much for spending time with me today. And I want to share a quick topic uh, today. And uh, I want to talk about uh, how uh, your family members don't understand the type of abuse uh, that you went through with the narcissist. And they don't seem to understand that you know, this wasn't just a regular, you know, breakup or a regular situation, uh, or I say a situationship or an entanglement, uh, that they don't understand this wasn't just a regular breakup or a regular relationship between a man and a woman or whoever the narcissist was or is in your life. Uh, and they just tell you, you know, hey, you know, just move on. It's no big deal. Uh, why are you making a big, you know, deal out of this whole situation? Things just didn't work out and move on. They don't seem to understand what you've been through because they haven't been through narcissistic abuse and they'll never understand it. And so it's trying, it's kind of hard to try to explain that uh, to people that don't know what that is. And narcissistic abuse is very traumatic. It's very uh, harsh on a, on a person. It's very uh, manipulative and uh, demonic and uh, spiritual. And they don't seem to understand what you're going through. And so you're going to have to communicate with people that uh, kind of have an idea or some experience about narcissistic abuse. Or maybe they've been through it or talk to a counselor or a psychiatrist or a psychologist or whoever you need to talk to. Now, I am not a psychologist or a therapist. I am a certified professional life coach and I'm speaking from my own personal experience. You know, and this channel is to help to build, help people uh, to build people up and restore them and to help them in their healing journey. And I can relate because I was a victim of domestic violence and narcissistic abuse. That's why I started this channel. But anyway, you know, your family members don't seem to understand how bad this thing was and how hurtful uh, it was to you. And um, they, uh, you know, don't understand the heartache and pain, the trauma, the heartache, uh, the sleepless nights, the disappointment, uh, everything that you've been through. They don't know. Uh, that you've been used. They don't know that you've been traumatized. They don't know that you've been abused. They don't know that that narcissist never loved you. They don't understand that how could a person be with you for so many years and do so many nice things for you and end up uh, treating you the way you're claiming that they treated you. They don't understand. They don't understand that these people are predators. These people are liars. They're manipulators. Uh, and they are very good at mirroring you. They are very good uh, with their false persona. They are very good at uh, tricking you and manipulating you and love bombing you uh, into making you think that they really love you and care for you. But that narcissist just came in your life to steal, kill, and destroy. They want to destroy you. They were jealous of you. They still jealous of you. And they don't want to see you uh, survive. They don't want to see you prosper. They don't want to see you move forward in your life. And it's something that you have that that narcissist wanted and they couldn't get it. And one of those things was you didn't apparently give them the narcissistic supply uh, that they wanted because that's why they discarded you. And so your family members will never understand uh, what you've been through. And they just think it's just, you know, oh, you just blowing things out of proportion. And, you know, you're angry for no reason. You know, just go out and get you someone else or just be with somebody else and just move on. Of course you can move on, but it's not that easy especially if you was married to this person or you've been with this person for years. Uh, they don't seem to understand uh, that there was a trauma bond. They don't understand that there was um, codependency there. They don't understand that you had a, a, a spiritual soul tie uh, with this person. And so you have to pray your way out of the relationships like this. You got to pray your way out of this because, you know, you don't want to be connected to this person, you know, uh, in a way that you shouldn't be. And so... You know, it's true that you should move on, but at the same time, you know, it's going to take time. And so understand that your family members might not know what you've uh, gone through or been through. Just, you know, talk to somebody else about it. Uh, have a close friend or family members or someone that, that you can relate to that's not going to be judgmental, uh, that's going to pretty much understand 
you know, the things that uh, that you're possibly dealing with. And they're not going to judge you. They're going to support you, uh, be there for you, and um, just help you through your healing journey. And so I just want to share that with you guys really quickly. I know it could be more to this video, but I just want to put that in your mindset that they're not going to understand because they don't understand it. They've never been through it. They've never experienced it. So they're not going to be able to relate uh, to what uh, you're talking about or how you're really feeling. And so and sometimes they'll get tired of you talking about it. They'll get tired of you talking about the betrayal. They'll get tired of you talking about how the narcissist treated you. So you don't want to be around people like that. You want to be around people that's going to be there to support you, to help you, to just understand that you are going through a process and support you through that process. So um, thank you again for stopping by, for tuning in to Breaking Free from MPD with Lizzie. I am your coach. Uh, again, if you want to get in contact with me, reach me at warriorqueen.55 at yahoo.com. And uh, leave a comment down below. If you experienced this with your family members and they didn't understand what you're going through and they just think you're crazy and uh, out of your mind, please leave a comment down below. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if there's a particular topic you want me to share or talk about, please leave that down below too as well. Uh, I do have free coaching services. So if you want to contact me for free coaching services for narcissistic abuse and domestic violence and i am open for that again warriorqueen.55 at yahoo.com i love you guys you all have a wonderful day uh stay strong get out and take care of yourself because remember self-care is the best care